Turbidity in water is usually caused by suspended particles such as clays and silts, chemical precipitates such as manganese and iron, and organic particles such as plant debris and organisms. The sources of turbidity are diverse, and many of the constituent particles, such as clays, soils, and natural organic matter, are harmless. However, turbidity can also indicate the presence of hazardous chemical and microbial contaminants, and can have significant implications for water quality, human health, or user acceptance. The implications will vary depending on the characteristics of the turbidity. Elevated turbidity in source waters can signal pollution events in the catchment, such as heavy rain or contamination spills, and can challenge the effectiveness of water treatment techniques such as coagulation and clarification, filtration and disinfection. We have this, which is called the turbidity tube, which is a really convenient field method for measuring uh, how cloudy the water is. And I particularly like this because it doesn't require any batteries or any calibration or anything like that. It's just simply a tube with numbers on the sides. And what we do is we fill the tube with our sample. So I've taken my sample in my turbidity tube. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look down through, through my sample and see if I can see the cross at the bottom. So this water is quite clear and I'm just waiting for the air bubbles to clear. This water is quite clear. I can almost see the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll let a little bit of water out here and take it down to maybe 10. And I can almost see the water, the, bo uh, the cross at the bottom, but not quite. So I'll let out a little bit more water. And I'll have a look now at 15 NTU. So there I can see the bottom of the tube, the cross at the bottom, when I have the water level at around 15. So that means that for this water sample, the turbidity we would say is 15 NTU. Various units are used to express the degree of turbidity. However, the most common is nephilometric turbidity units, or NTU for short. Turbidity can be measured in many ways and depending on the purpose and requirements, may be measured with digital meters with high precision or through manual measurement with lower precision. There are even smartphone applications that have been developed, although this technology is relatively new and untested. For low resource settings, manual measurements are most common. This can give an accuracy down to five NTUs. For greater precision, digital turbidity meters are needed.